KMT Honorary Chairman Lian Jian has been accused of leaking President Ma ying 2008 inauguration address to Beijing. The accusation follows a revelation in a soon-to-be-released book by Ma's former national security chief, who said that Lian transcribed the speech word for word before inauguration day. Lian's influence in Beijing was apparent when he and his wife met with Chinese President Hu Jintao in 2008. Inferences made based on information from a new book by former National Security Council Secretary General Su Qi suggest just how close Lin may have worked with the Chinese. Su said that in 2008, President Ma asked Su to give an early reading of his presidential inauguration speech to senior KMT figures, among them Lin. This is what Su wrote. The meeting with Lin left a deep impression on me. After hearing the speech, Lin immediately took out paper and pen and asked me to repeat the speech word for word. He then wrote every character. I wondered why he wanted to do this since the speech would be made public in just two days. I had an idea, but I didn't dare follow it to its natural conclusion. Political pundit Clara Cho attempted to fill in the blank for Sue. It's equivalent to accusing Lian of leaking Ma's inaugural address to Chinese authorities. People believe that Lian leaked state secrets and engaged in espionage on behalf of China. The presidential office wouldn't speculate, but Su is a close advisor of the president. DPP legislator Tsai Huangliang believes the release of these revelations before the election is no coincidence. According to Tsai, Ma's goal is to push Lian out of the cross strait spotlight so Ma can consolidate control over negotiations with China. The announcement could also take a toll on Lian's attempts to sell himself as a defender of the Republic of China, as his son, Sean Lian, attempts to win a tight mayoral election in Taipei.